Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I was going to give you a bit of a Saracenia tour. Um, we're going to do a quick little flyby inside the propagation area and um, then we'll head outside to the Saracenia greenhouse. Things are looking awesome in here. Things are getting big, lots of cool plants coming up. We have my Saracenia wand up there, that's from Harry Potter. Um, had to block off the windows. The sun shines in here too much. It was affecting my temperatures. It was like getting too hot. And so yeah, windows are blocked off if you're wondering why. Some cool stuff coming up here. Look at this beauty. Oh, that's nice. Some fly traps in the mix of that. You can just ignore those fly traps since it's um, Saracenia tour. This is a cool little one here that I have my eye on. Seems insignificant, but it's really a yellow color on camera and has the darkest red throat. So that's kind of cool. Lots of cool stuff coming along. Lots of darks, lots of whites, lots of, um, lots of good stuff, lots of reds. But yeah, it's sort of all an assortment and things are just like the popping up new every day and impressing me. So gonna have lots to go through next spring. These guys are all in for the winter at this point, unless, um, I throw a few of my um, own personal ones that I've chosen outside. And yeah, so there are some of them. Now if we go down here, here's some more. These ones are um, a little bit newer, a little bit fresher. These are my own personal bog pots. So this is my experiment that um, I started back um, when we moved to this property. Because as some of you know, if you follow me, my property used to contain a large peat bog. Um, unfortunately, the, the farms around the area 50 years ago drained the bog and used it for farming, but my land is pretty much untouched. So I just scooped down and grabbed some peat and I did some tests on it and I want to see how things would grow in it. And it's, they're growing slow, which probably means it's very nutrient poor, which is a good thing. I'm not spraying them with Max-C or giving them any kind of fertilizers or anything like that. Um, one tag is from deeper down and the other tag is from surface peat. I just want to see the difference here. And I'm going to move this cord since I notice it's crushing a plant. And we'll leave it there for a second. Um, we'll go up a level. More littler guys. Some stuff that's just recently started. A little bit bigger. These are sort of medium size. Once I get to a bigger height, I have to move them out from under here, but there's some cool stuff even in here coming along under the light. Some more stuff up here. Too much to really name, but of course we have different, um, different ages of plants and stuff like that. So a few more over here, down to stuff I literally just like repotted yesterday. Venture's Treasure, Cross, Saurus. So that's cool. That's my um, indoor collection of seedlings growing out. I'm sure there's tens of thousands in here, but now let's head out to the outdoor greenhouse. All right, out to the Saracenia greenhouse. Here we go. So this is south down that way. Very sunny location for the Saracenia. And um, yeah. Here it is. You would have seen me um, put this guy together a couple videos ago. Move some stuff in here. I didn't get it totally finished, but I got it um, pretty finished. And it gets hot in here. Oh man. This is the end of September. I've never experienced a greenhouse this hot at the end of September. So that's in the sun, but it's, it's calling it out at way over 110. I did just open the doors not too long ago, but it's hot in here. It doesn't feel like that. It just that hasn't cooled down yet. So I did some tables on the ground here. I don't want to call them tables, some trays on the ground, which um, they were easy and quick, what I needed at the time. And but I don't like them down that low. So next spring or whenever I get a chance, I'm going to do the mirror image. This is 12 feet of tables, 12 by four approximately on the other side behind me. But we'll end up on the other side and we can um, look at it then for now. It's pretty wasted space behind me. Some purpureas in there, some um, anthophree purpureas, sort of a mixture of different stuff. Some seed growing, some stuff I've just acquired. 
um, different purple is I'm gonna come down a little bit so you can see everything a little bit more but this is this tray I keep a little bit shallower and it's got mainly four inch pots in it so it, I don't want the water level up too high on them so it's a bit shallower tray and that's um, exactly why I decided to divide this at the last minute because this was one big tray but I wanted to be able to um, make two different water levels if I wanted to so these guys here a little bit um, deeper tray same sort of size some cool stuff in here it's hard to go through everything I don't know I'll just show you some cool stuff and um, we can go from there so I tried to um, stick all my Lucophilos over here and they're doing really well. I've never had so many white tops as I do um, this year. I really like them. This stuff's starting to gain some size to it. These guys here, beautiful plants. That's definitely one of my favorite. That is Titan. Another nice one here. And yeah, there's just some really cool stuff happening in here. Lots of new growth still. Look at the mouth on that one. And um, yeah, lots of color still. Some stuff up here. This table um, wasn't meant to be in here. This was an outdoor table that I had, uh, an eight by four. But again, I just threw it in here when I was um, putting it up so I had something in here. It can be removed, it's not built in or anything like that. But some pretty nice stuff happening in here. Look at how nice and black that is. It's pretty cool. So most of the, the green flavas are over this way. But some nice looking stuff. You can um, see the flavas are, are getting some, some wear and tear on them now. I've remo removed a few um, that just weren't looking very good anymore. Some fresh ones still coming up. That one's not so fresh. This one here is um, one I'm keeping my eye on. This is seed grown by me. And um, it's looking really nice. I guess germinated by me. I forget where I got the seed. I'd have to look up the tag. But um, yeah, not, not grown by me, but germinated by me. And it's just, for the size of it, it's um, so short and stocky. The, um, the lip is just so awesome and you can see like kind of three stages here of how they darken. They open green and just get quite dark. Very pronounced like pore spout on the lip there. And lots of stuff. The seed pods are um, pretty much ready to be harvested. Nice looking plant. That's fresh. And then my bog pots did make it in here as well. This is what I'm talking about with the wasted space for now. This, imagine being another full 12 feet of table here, coming out, um, you know, kind of like the other, just so I can reach the back of it sort of thing, just about um, four feet. And But for now, you know what, the bog pots are loving it in here. They, they ended up in the bathtub, Judith Hindle's exploding, um, Leucophila Tarnock, I divided quite heavily this year, so it's recovering. And then there's just some few scraps in here. These are some of my latest outdoor repots. The Cytocena um, just got repotted last week. It's still growing strong. It's one of the warmer growers. I may just um, not leave it out to get um, too cold this winter time. But for now, with it being, I don't know, 100 plus degrees in here every day, it is um, still doing good out here and loving life. So yeah, that is Saracenia. This time next year, with the stuff that's um, growing inside the propagation facility, we're going to have to um, find about double this amount of space probably. I have some um, swimming pools under there for like just in case spillover emergencies. Like I got to set up something new. I can just like put it down either inside, outside or whatever. And yeah, just to hold some extra stuff. But anyways, I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.
Bye, guys.